Hi, this is RJ and welcome to Redline, where I do quick Amazon product reviews and demos. Be sure to check out my other videos. And as always, I provide links in the description directly to the products on Amazon. That said, let's get into today's video. Hey guys, what's going on? I got this uh, splitter from Amazon. I want to do a quick demo of it for you in a second and contrast it to this other splitter that I have. And there's a couple advantages this one has. And again, I'll demo this for you so you can see how well it works. But there's a couple advantages this one has over this one. Maybe you can spot uh, them already. But but if you notice, this one, the, the design has this ring uh, at the top. And what this does is it ends up limiting the size of wood you can uh, split with it. So let me give you an example. So with this big boy right here, you know, it's not going to fit. And, it's, and it's, it's a good size chunk of wood, but... So then typically what I would have to do is pre-split it with an axe or hatchet to then, you know, convert over to using the splitter. And even if it were to fit inside that circle, if it's, if it's barely fitting or it's just smaller than the circle and you can fit it in there, you're going to end up wedging it. So once, once you get down to here and the wood splits, it's going to wedge itself in there and it's a pain in the neck to try to get out. Now, obviously, if we look at this uh, splitter here, there is no ring around it, so it's not going to limit the size of wood you can split with it in that regard. And then also, it has these fins that are in opposition of each other. And so, oftentimes, when you get stubborn pieces of wood, even if you know it's small enough to fit in here, it, just splitting it apart like this, the wood can be the grain of the wood can be stubborn, and it's still kind of a pain in the neck. Yeah, it really jam it all the way down there as far as you can and sometimes pull it out and peel it apart with your hands with this having these two opposing fins if you will or blades whatever you want to refer to them as as the wood is getting split this fin starts pushing the wood this way you know this half of the wood and this and the other side is pushing the half of, half of the wood the opposite way so it breaks the part breaks apart the wood not only by splitting it but then twisting it in opposition of itself so You'll see what I mean here in a second. So let me go ahead and demo it for you now. All right, let's head out and demo it. I'm going to be using just a little three-pound sledgehammer um, that I have. Works great. And then you'll notice the, the splitter might slide around because I don't have it bolted in place yet. So obviously that won't be an issue once I bolt it in place. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the demo. 